Our field space is divided into sections of 30 beds. There's a section of cash crop bordered by two sections of cover crop. The next season those are, are rotated such that the cash crops are now in sections where there was a cover crop. Each of our sections uh, contains 30 permanent beds. They're mostly 300 feet long by 45 inches center to center. We also keep these permanent beds exactly where they are. We use a, a spader um, and drive only on the pathways, work, walk only on the pathways, so the beds always remain the same whether they're in cover crop or in cash crop. After our cash crop, we would seed with rye and vetch or just rye as the season gets colder. Um, then the middle of next season, around July, that rye and vetch would be put down and put into uh, a cover crop that would winter kill, such as oats and peas or sudex. This section was in uh, cash crop earlier in the season. It's now been spaded down and put into rye and vetch. And we are on a permanent bed system, so the pathways always stay in the same place, and the bed is planted with cover crop, we keep the pathways clean so that we're able to find the bed the next year. Uh, we use a permanent bed system mainly to reduce compaction and to uh, help with maintain good soil structure. We sow this the middle of August and we go by bed. So rye and vetch usually gets put down um, five pounds of rye and two pounds of vetch per bed. And since we go bed by bed, we just mix the seed according to the number of beds we're going to put down at that time. This rye and vetch will be allowed to grow until it starts to head out and then it will be mowed. We usually have to mow twice for the rye and then allow the vetch to come back through and flower and we mow again for the vetch and then it will be spaded down and put into a winter killed cover crop such as oats and peas. This is the equipment we use for planting our cover crop. A simple drop seeder that we purchased from Market Farm Implement. It's made by Shaper Brothers. It's adjustable according to the size seed that um, you're putting down. We incorporate it with a basket weeder. We use a pipe on the back of the tractor that drags along the bed and that helps to create the compaction necessary for uh, faster seed germination. This is a field of oats and peas was seeded in the mid-August uh, mid after spading down rye and vetch. The beds are seeded to about five pounds of pre-mixed oats and peas per bed. Any of the legumes that we put down, we do inoculate them prior to seeding. The other um, part of our fertility system is compost. So um, we have to buy our compost in. It's rather expensive. So we have been um, using a lot of legumes in our cover crop and hopes and hoping to uh, reduce the amount of compost we have to use. Cover crops are an integral part of sustainable agriculture because of their role in soil stewardship, pest management, and crop rotation. While many vegetable farmers in the Northeast use cover crops, typically the practice is limited to small grains for preventing winter soil erosion. This video features 10 experienced vegetable farmers from five states, explaining how they use cover crops in more innovative ways. The farmers describe which species of cover crops they plant and how they are managed. Viewers can decide for themselves whether a particular practice is suited for trial on their own farm.